upstairs video! Okay, so by popular request, I'm gonna release this video. Um, the stairs aren't quite done yet. I will explain why at the end of the video, but I wanna get this video tomorrow, which is why this is also a nighttime shot. I'm editing it right now. If I get it finished right now, the video goes live tomorrow. Otherwise, I gotta wait for another day. Anyway, stay tuned at the end. I'm gonna explain why they're not done. I know they look like they're done or mostly done, but they're not. Anyway, stay tuned. Hello my internet friends and welcome back. Now that I have the catwalk built, I can now take the first steps to making stairs. Yeah, the first steps to making stairs, that's brilliant. Who writes this? Did you really draw that? That's terrible. So it's about minus five Celsius here. Uh, minus five and a half, maybe minus, uh, sorry about 22 Fahrenheit. Not that cold, but there's a stiff breeze coming in that really brings the temperature down a lot. Center. One done. Oh, oh, oh. We're not quite done though. Ugh, forgot my earmuffs. So I put a lot of thought into where the stairs should fall here on the catwalk in the room. And originally I thought way over here on this side, um, you know, to kind of stay out of the way of the sliding door, kind of to be off to the side here. But it occurred to me that wherever the, the stairs fall, we can never put anything permanent, like this couch. So um, it make, kind of makes sense to bring them over into the center here, where it's kind of a hallway here anyway. So we're gonna try that, and I, I can always move in the f in the future. It'd actually be really easy to move. I just pull up the screws on the thing and shift the whole set. But I'll show you something here. I'll move the camera first, though. This is kind of how the stairs are going to be once they're all set up. I guess it's a little bit steep like this, but it kind of has to be because I'll show you. Gotta come up like that and not hit that wall. And I wanted a few inches of, to spare. So there you go, that's as long as the stairs can be, which means oh, <laughs> they're gonna be that steep. Yep. So let's go figure out where I should put them. One of the trickiest cuts was the angle on the bottom of the board here. Uh, and I just I don't know how to figure it out mathematically. I just kind of took a trip out to the saw four times. Cut a bit more off, cut a bit more off, cut a bit more off. Flat, good. Left that at the same angle, cut the other piece. <laughs> so here we go. Uh, some play there that I don't quite like, but that might come out when I get the, 
this steps on. So now, the next thing that I don't know how to do, but I've seen videos on it, cut the steps. <laughs> Here we go again. Yeah. So it's the next day here, and I've had a real problem with these stringers. I did buy, um, take a quick look here. I've, of course I had this carpenter square, and you, you buy these little things to help you make stringers. And I spent like a crazy amount of time yesterday trying to figure this out. Uh, I've watched videos of making stringers. There's a website where you can do a stringer calculator. Whoops. And I don't know if you can see these lines. These lines are like pretty much it <laughs> for my stringers. I'm gonna have a real problem at the top here. Let me adjust. <laughs> nice shot of the bath towel, Russell. Yeah. And a real problem at the top here because uh, my last step, my last step is gonna be like right here, right next to the metal. So I gotta figure out something, a way to get a step in there uh, somehow and get it properly supported. Did I just pick up a sliver? Damn it. Anyway, I'm gonna have to take them out of the metal brackets to cut them, to cut this one. I don't know. Just take it forever. And then, you know, you screw this up and your board's gone. <laughs> just not happy with how this whole thing came about. Originally I had these, you might remember, I had these the other way. I had, they were, I had to flip them down. I just felt that they should be up, but that didn't work. Email. And, um, yeah, because up, there was no way I was getting that last step in there, but down I can. I don't know, it's just weird. I just felt they should be the other way. Anyway. What a pain. So I'm going to cut this one, and then uh, if that, I'm going to stick it back in here. And if that looks good, I will um, use it, use this as a template for the other one, and I'll cut the other one. And hopefully it'll look good, and it'll work. And if it doesn't, well, I've got two more of these. <laughs> I really don't want to do this again, though. God. So the, uh, the skill saw is my least favorite tool by far, and I'm not very good with it, <laughs> I hate using it. But this turned out okay, um, but here's a thing, I cut all these pieces thinking I was cutting pieces for the steps, and I'll swear where I've done the steps, I've done this and it's worked really well. 2x4, and then a 2x6, and it you know, everywhere else it's given me a nice little hangover, but you can see, I don't know if you can see that there's just not enough 2x6 on here. So, uh, yeah, that's not going to work. And a 2x6 is just too small for a step. I don't like it. It needs to be just like a little bit longer. Which means that all these 2x4s, did I do two 2x4s? Two yeah. Maybe. It's about half on there. I don't know, I gotta think about this. <laughs> the other thing I can do is uh, uh, two by eight. Kind of fits nicely on there. But all these pieces are, are garbage now. I've got a couple of two by eights, they're 10 feet long and I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven steps to make. I gotta think about this. Thinking man has gotta take over now. It's cold outside, my toes are freezing. So I decided this is two feet. I decided two feet was just too skinny. Um this way. And it's interesting that like I was thinking about how using two 2x4s two here, but they're really, 
two two by fours instead of this. I don't know if you can see it. Um, there's only like a quarter inch difference here between the the two two by fours and the the, the two by eight. But um, I'm going to put this all backwards. But what I'm trying to say is I've decided to it's just too just too narrow. Like they might have done, except. I also have to put a railing at least on one side, which just doesn't give me enough room. So scratch the scratch those. So I've taken my my two two by eights, and I'm going to use those instead. I've cut a few pieces here. Uh, I just, I'm just going to try it out. I don't know. It kind of looks. I don't know. <laughs> I'm going to put one on, in at the top and one at the bottom so I can square it all up. And then, uh, and then we'll try a few out here. Okay, so I should just be able to go bang, 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 bang. And keep it straight here, I guess. Finally time for this guy to come down. And this guy has been up here since before there was a roof up here. This catwalk. I've taken the screws out, I just gotta get get her down now. It's quite a thing. It's been sitting here for so long. And it's been very useful. gotten to the point of how much do I trust these stairs. <laughs> what separates the, the men from the uh, Russells. Uh. Oh. 
Oh. Made it. Okay, well, I can see that going up I can go straight, just walk straight up. So I'm telling you a few things about our system here. I can go straight up. I can't come straight down quite because my, I don't know if you can see that, my, how far my feet hang over. Yeah, that's not going to work. So you gotta got to come down at a bit of an angle, which is still better than using a ladder. We still need a handrail here, although it's not going to be very high. I can see uh, something else. There's a lot of movement. I don't know if, um, I think you're supposed to use 2x12s for these supports. Like there's not a lot of wood left in there after I make my cuts. So there's a lot of play there. There's a lot of play generally in the system that I kind of don't like, but I'm not sure what to do about. And, well, here we go. Here's, here's the idea. You use the stairs, you put them up. There will be a, a counterbalance system on this eventually that will hold them up. I'm going to figure out how to mount it in the, this, the rafters, but that's it. And then most of the day it's out of the way like this and you can do other stuff. Oh, but that's heavy. <laughs> So there's still lots of work to do. The railing, interesting, the railing is not going to be very high. You know, these, these pegs that I'm going to put here are going to be like a foot high and that's it. Interesting. And I'm not going to go right to the bottom. There's no point because you're going to, you're going to start grabbing around here. Oh, I'm actually really glad I used just crappy dimensional lumber for this. Because now that I've done it, I can see a bunch of things I should do differently. You know, and it would have been a shame to waste, like, say, good hardwood for this. <sighs> anyway, I think I'm going to call it for today. Stairs are going to sit here. And then tomorrow I'm going to look at putting a rope in and uh, setting up my counterbalance, which is going to be this thing. stove pipe. <laughs> I hope that works. I, I've, I've got a couple of issues. The bottom I'm just gonna, I have a cap for it. So I can just put the cap on and screw it on and I fill it up with rocks and stuff but I don't know how to attach the rope to it just yet. Uh, drill some holes and put something through there like a, a like a cross and then I can rope onto that and pull it up. I don't know. Uh, I don't know, I have to think about that. So welcome to the end of the video. Okay, so I've totally decided I'm not I'm not gonna leave these stairs the way they are. They're just too wobbly, you know, walking down them, you're like constantly back and forth, you're this and that, and I, they're just not strong enough, I'm not happy. So I'm gonna redo them. I'm gonna redo them with, um, I'm not gonna do these stringers like this, I'm gonna do full boards down the side, each side. I'm gonna try and do every other step. I, I don't know what they're called, where there's kind of a gap. I'm gonna try and do that and um, yeah by popular request I was going to read the stairs and then release this video but by by request from the live stream a bunch of people in live stream said no no just release the video that you have I said sure and then it'll be another video where I redo the stairs but I think that might actually take a while because I was talking to Alicia and she said because um, I asked her what should I work on this week should I do the stairs or should I get going on the pine again she said do the pine you know the stairs are there they work they're a little wobbly and they're scary as hell but we need to get the floor space cleared up and get this pine on the walls and the ceilings and stuff so i'm gonna work on that so stay tuned um apologies to tj miller i know you wanted to be here but we just couldn't work it out so maybe next time buddy um and we'll see you next time at the cabin i should end with a song 
but I'm not going to. Anyway, click the these things all around here, and uh, we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.